people like you who can be relatable and people can come and say, oh yeah, I can relate to this girl, right? So I can talk to her about my problem. But for us to be able to do that, I was coming to the revenue model and the commercial model and the entrepreneurship. We've got to be empowered and be generating enough money to cover all these things that, that we want to be able to do, right? And that we are doing. So I wanted to understand the work that you are doing on the tech side. Talk to us about that a little bit. Okay, so it integrates in, into the NPO. Um, so we have a database of, so firstly, there's a CSI aspect to it. Yeah, yeah. And then there's obviously the, the, the revenue generating model. Um, from a CSI perspective that, that ties into Art of Charity, we have a database of pro bono attorneys that um, assist gender-based violence and rape victims. And then we also then um, have the revenue generating model, which is a subscription based model. So we are making legal more accessible to township businesses, small to medium sized businesses, as well as startups. So being a startup myself and, you know, lawyer up being a startup, um, we understood the pain points yeah. and we understood what the problems were and looked at solutions to accommodate those problems. Mm. So we came up with packages um, for pre-seed, seed, venture capital and scale that have pre-drafted documents in them, but also creating job opportunities on the African continent. Mm. So moving into the Kenya space this month, so very excited oh, about that. Um, where we are, so lawyers get to register on the database and then depending on the location, they then partnered with startups, SMMEs that need legal services. Absolutely. So consulting legal services as well as document generation. And I think it's just a more affordable way um, if you are a startup, if you are a small to medium sized business. We know the importance of legal, but yeah. then when we think law, we think intimidating, we think expensive, am I going to be able to you know, afford this? So we have payment options as well. So not just a subscription base, but a payment plan. So if you can pay us over the next six months, that's fine. Three months, that's fine. So we have a contract with you. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can also sort of pay off your legal services. We also know that it's difficult on the African continent getting um, pre-seed investment. Can say that and, <laughs> and, you, you know, I've been in that boat. Yeah. I've been in that boat yeah. for the last two years. And it comes down to also being compliant. So if you're not compliant and you're approaching an investor and they're asking you for your data room and they're saying, well, where are your documents? You know, the yeah, chances of you getting that is so low. Mm. But some of the most amazing concepts are coming from township businesses. And I've been mentoring township businesses for the last six months. Well and it's been absolutely liberating being in that space and looking at the ideas and concepts. And I wish I could do more, but I'm getting there. But I'm getting let, me there. Tell you something. let me tell you something. So in my last episode with Ronald, we delved deeper into this. The issue is that... I don't know whether everywhere else, but I, what I know for sure on the African continent, somehow we associate the law with criminals. Yeah. We don't realize that legal is one of the four pillars of any business. And I always talk about this to say, guys, I took from experience. I was running successful businesses from 2001 up to 2007, eight. The recession hit so hard. We lost 95% of the business. And when the legal team came in to say, okay, where is the business? What can be salvaged? Pillar legal for me was non-existent. Non non and so that process for three years, I always say I went to a university because I was like in class learning the law A to Z. And I'm telling you now for anyone starting entrepreneurship, startup, whatever it is, pillar legal is one of the most important pieces, no matter how expensive you may think it is, because it's going to cost you more when it messes up in the future. From yeah. day one. So definitely we need to change the narrative. So you have work to do, even if you were to do webinars, I don't know, videos or something. We have to work to do to just educate, to say, even when you have an idea, before you even put it on paper, first think, how can I protect this idea? Yeah. Because if you are thinking of it right now, of the 8 billion people on the planet, how many more are thinking about the same thing? Mm -hmm. And so if you talk to someone about it and if they go ahead and execute it, don't judge them and say, 
because how are you protecting it absolutely yeah. so but we need more morally more, yeah i don't know a moral <laughs> standpoint when it comes to business as well because i feel like ideas are exchanged so often that we're hoping that lawyer app is not just going to be a web app but it's going to be something that you're able to have access on your phone so now. if we're speaking about a concept and idea now i could go onto my phone and say would you mind signing this nda for me absolutely and and you know for that to just be some normal part of the conversation it shouldn't make people feel uncomfortable but it also shouldn't come at a hectic cost or expense no. because it's just part of the process um of being an entrepreneur and being in the space absolutely And so yeah. yeah so I think for me I I do the same similar to what you do when I attend boot camps when you know entrepreneurs come and present because I'm an investor I love investing in startups but I am shocked when you then ask them okay you've done all this where is your legal pack yeah. I'll be like okay what are you talking about like what <laughs> you know so very important I think you're doing amazing work and so it's available as web option currently available in SA and Kenya this and month. Kenya well done. That's Thank good you. growth strategy, right? And it's available as subscription packages. So it's subscription based for now. Um mm-hmm. we do have plans to, you know, create an app for it that's Brilliant. downloadable, but that also comes at a cost. So aggressively looking for investment at the moment. Um and I think just being in the rooms that I have been in in the last year and speaking on different panels and traveling in the last year has opened that up and yeah. I think everything comes at a process. So you can't just think you have this idea and you're going to get funded tomorrow. No. It doesn't work like no. that. No. You need to be able to prove that it's going to work and I think that's the toughest part and and I see that with being a mentor in townships is mm. you're asking for an MVP to to give money whether it be an angel investor whether it be pre-seed investment of any sort but how do we get an mvp if we don't have money and that's been my issue the last two years i had to sell my car i sold my car okay. i drew out my retirement annuity yeah, exactly. to be able to get to where i'm at but not a lot of people have that privilege so now what do we do so That is something that I'm still somewhat trying to find a solution yeah. to with the different spaces that I've been in, the different investor conversations and panels that I've spoken on. But it's also very risk adverse with investing in Africa right now. Yeah.